Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the project that I have for you today. A Snow White inspired baby dress. And I will tell you step by step how you can make it. This particular dress was requested by Lorenza Gonzalez and I had a lot of fun making it. So if you have any suggestions over there, please let me know and I will be happy to make it for you. If you want to make this dress bigger, there are two ways how you can make it. The first one is uh, to make um, one more row before closing the sleeves, depending on the size you want to. Or the other one is to use a bigger hook with a thicker yarn. It measures 30 inches long and for the chest it's 17 inches or 44 centimeters this is the material that i will be using today it's a sport weight and it's 100 percent cotton uh, you can use any DK Baby Light Triplaya yarn if you don't have this one available. And these are the colors that we need for today. And a three millimeters crochet hook. I have here 62 chains. They measure 11 inches without stretching. And if you prefer centimeters, it's 28 centimeters. Okay, as I said, we have 62 chains. Beginning in the third chain from the hook, we are going to be making one double crochet 10 times. Skip the first one and the second one and go to the third and make one double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. and 10 double crochets. Make one chain, and we're going to be making 10 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten double crochets. Chain one, and right in the next chain, uh, we're going to be making one, uh, one double crochet 20 times now. So after this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty double crochets. We have twenty double crochets, one chain, and we're going to be making one double crochet in next ten uh, chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chain one. And we are going to finish making one double crochet in the last 10 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten double crochets. Okay, this is how the first um, round looks like. For the second row, chain two and turn this uh, chain two are not going to count as one stitch so beginning in the first stitch make one double crochet and continue making one double crochet to the first chain one space in total we will have 10 double crochets we have 10 double crochets in the chain one space we are going to be making one shell with two double crochets, one chain and two double crochets. Everything here in this is uh, chain one space. One and two, one chain and two more double crochets. And this is how we're going to be working the corners for from now on. on. Just keep making one double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches I have 10 double crochets after the shell here and in the chain one space we're going to repeat one and two double crochets one chain and make two more double crochets into the same space we have the second corner ready and beginning here in the first stitch available make one double crochet and now we're going to have a 20 double crochets until the next uh, chain one space i have my 20 double crochets and here in the chain one space we're going to repeat two double crochets one chain and two more double crochets. Make one double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. And then you're going to be repeating the shell in the chain one space. And then you will be finishing with one double crochet in the last 10 stitches. 
Okay, I am finished here with this uh, row number two. And for the number three, we are going to repeat the chain two. Uh, and then we're going to start here in the first stitch. And the sequence is going to be the same, making one double crochet in each stitch until you reach the chain one space. I have 12 double crochets in, in the chain one space. We're going to repeat the shell with two double crochets, one chain and two double crochets. And the next step is going to be making one double crochet on each of the stitches that we have before reaching the chain one. I have 14 double crochets in here in the chain one space. We're going to repeat the same. Two double crochets, one chain plus two double crochets all in the same chain one space. And the next step is going to be uh, making 24 double crochets, then the shell here, 14 double crochets, one shell, and 12 double crochets. Okay, I am done with the row number three. And now for the number four, chain two, and beginning in the first stitch, we're going to be making one double crochet until we reach the chain one space. And now we will have 14 double crochets. I have 14 double crochets and here in the chain one space make the corner with two double crochets, one chain and two double crochets. Okay, the next step is going to be making one double crochet 18 times one corner then one double crochet 28 times one corner 14 double crochets one corner and at the end we will have 14 double crochets i am done with the row number four you know for the number five we're going to start the same way with two chains and we're going to repeat the same sequence making one double crochet in each stitch until we reach the chain one and when you reach the chain one space make the shell with two double crochets one chain and two more double crochets And for this row, we have here 16 double crochets, then we make the corner. For this part, we're going to have 22 double crochet and then the corner. And for this part, it's going to be 32 double crochets, one corner, and 22 double crochets, one corner, and last with 16 double crochets. I just want you to keep repeating this um, pattern uh, across I am done here with the row number five. This is what I have so far. And I will make the number six. Uh, and I will tell you how many uh, stitches I did between the corners. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six rows. And we have here 18 double crochets, the corner, 26 double crochets, one corner, 36 double crochets in the corner, 26 double crochets in the corner, and then 18 double crochets. For the number seven, we are going to be closing the sleeves. one and two chains and turn your work and we're going to start as usual in the first stitch here and just continue making one double crochet until you reach the first 
Chain One Space. I have 20 double crochets and now I will make one double crochet here in the chain one space. We're going to skip all these stitches. In total, we have 30. And the next step is making one double crochet here in this uh, chain one space. Just like this. And we have our first arm hold ready. Now continue making one double crochet in each stitch until you reach the next chain one space. I have 40 double crochets. Now make one double crochet here in the chain one space. And skip all these stitches here. And make one double crochet in the last chain one space and we have the second armhole ready finish making one double crochet across okay now we have 84 stitches for the next uh, row we are going to start as usual chain two and turn we're going to be making one double crochet in each of these 84 stitches. Just continue making one double crochet in each stitch across. Okay, for the number nine, chain two and turn. And we're going to repeat this, making one double crochet in each stitch across. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 rows. For the number 13, we're going to start working in rounds. It means that we need to make one slip stitch here on the first double crochet made. And I will start working with the yellow color. For the round number 13, we're going to start by making three chains. These are not going to count as the first stitch. So going back to the same space, we're going to be making one extended double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to be making an increase. Next stitch is going to be one extended double crochet. Next stitch, one increase. Next stitch is going to be one extended double crochet. Next stitch, one increase. This is the sequence for the round number 13. I decided to change this color. This is two in chains. So I will be using this one. But since it's a very thin, look, it's very thin. So I will make, uh, I will be working with double strand to make it the same size as this one. I have two boards of this one right here. And I finished the first um, round for the skirt. For the second round, we're going to start with chain three and one extended double crochet into this first stitch. One double, one extended double crochet into the next stitch. And I will be making one increase in the next stitch.
Make one extended double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then one increase. Okay, this is the sequence for the, the second round of the skirt. And we're going to finish making one slip stitch on top of the first extended double crochet. And we are going to start all the rounds the same way uh, with three chains and then with the extended double crochet in the same space. And no more increases. Uh, we are going to be making one stitch on each stitch around. So this is going to be the round number 15. And from this round, and now we're not going to be making any more increases. Just make one extended double crochet in each stitch around. I will make all my rounds and when I am done, I will tell you exactly how many more I did. Okay, here is the round number 15. This was the last one that I did with you. And after that, I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Uh, making one extended double crochet on each stitch around. Okay, in total, I have 27 uh, rounds. And this is what I have left from the two skins of yarn. Okay, for the next step is going to be the sleeves. You can start on any stitch. And I am using the light blue. For the first round, we're going to be making one single crochet in each stitch. At the end, we're going to have 34 single crochets. Okay, when you get to this part here under arm, you're going to be making one single crochet on this a stitch here and then one single crochet in the next space one single crochet in this space and then one single crochet uh, on this space We should have 34 stitches. Make one slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. And for the second round, we're going to start with uh, chain two. Uh, it doesn't count as one stitch. Go back to the same sp stitch and make two double crochets. For the second round, we're going to be making two double crochets in each stitch around. I finish with the round number two. We're going to be making one slip stitch on top of the first double crochet made. And for the round three to the round number six, we are going to start the same way with two chains. And then we're going to be making one double crochet in each stitch around. We need to make a round three, four, five, and six, making one double crochet in each stitch around I have one around here this is the one with the single crochet two three four five and six rounds now for the last one we're going to be making one chain go back to the same space and make one single crochet 
skip the next stitch and make one single crochet in the next stitch skip one stitch and make one single crochet in the next stitch skip one stitch one single crochet skip one stitch and make one single crochet this is how we're going to be working for the last round of the slip skipping one stitch and then making one single crochet we're going to be skipping the last stitch and then we are going to make one slip stitch and we can cut the yarn and we are done with the slip just repeat the same process for the second one and the next step i will show you how to make these red uh, things we're going to be making five chains one two three four and five skip the first one and the second one and in the third make one single crochet i'm sorry make one double crochet make one double crochet in the next two chains we have here the chain uh, two and then three double crochets chain two skip the first stitch go to the second one and make one double crochet and then make one more double crochet into the next double crochet here just like that chain one and two skip this stitch and make one double crochet in the middle stitch here one and two chains and cut the turn uh, you want to sew this to the slip make sure to leave a long uh, strand of yarn i will just use um, hot glue is easy for me and do not forget to hide these ends here on the back uh, and i am going to add six on each slip so i will be making 12 And for this one, just cut the end like this. And here you have it. Okay, the next step is going to be attaching this to the dress. And I will do that with the hot glue. And as I said before, I will attach three in the front and three in the back. If you uh, want, you can um, use um, a tapestry needle and you can sew it to the dress as well. I will repeat the same on this side. We have 10 stitches in this part. And we are going to leave 6 stitches here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And in the next, we are going to be attaching the yarn. I am using white for this part. Make one single crochet and one chain. This is going to be our first double crochet. Make one uh, double crochet in the next three stitches. And 
and then continue making one double crochet all the way around the neck until we have six stitches left here in this side we are going to be working a stitch on each stitch Just continue making one double crochet around until you have six stitches left on the other side. I am done here with this um, row and we have left one, two, three, four, five and six stitches. For the second one, we're going to start by uh, making two chains on your work we're going to be making a uh, one double crochet in the first stitch two double crochets in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch we are going to be making this sequence for a total of nine times and I did it only eight times. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight times. Making one double crochet and then two double crochets. The next is going to be making one double crochet in each stitch until we have 16 stitches left on the other side. I have 16 stitches left from the other side and we're going to be making two double crochets in this stitch, one double crochet in the next, two double crochets in this one, one double crochet in the next, two double crochets and you are going to finish repeating this across. We are going to finish making one double crochet in the last stitch. For the number three, chain two and turn. And for this one, we're going to be making one double crochet in each stitch across. Just make one double crochet in each stitch across for the number four chain two and turn and we're going to be making one double crochet in each stitch No more increases, just make one double crochet in each stitch across. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six rows for the neck, and I will make one last one. I cut the yarn here, and I will start in this part over here down. I will make one single crochet, one chain, and one single crochet into the same space. I will go to the next row, make one single crochet, one chain, and one single crochet. In the next row, one single crochet, one chain, and one single crochet. Okay, when you are here at the corner, we can start here in the first stitch available, making one single crochet, then one chain, and one more single crochet into the same space. And we can um, hide this tail alone. 
we're going to skip one stitch and then in the next one single crochet one chain and one single crochet skip one stitching in the next one single crochet chain one one single crochet this is how we're going to be working for the last uh, row for the neck skip one stitching in the next one single crochet chain one one single crochet just keep repeating all the way to this part here we are almost done um, I have here 32 inches of ribbon. If you don't know have ribbon, you can make chains with the same uh, red color as you use for this part until you have the 32 inches. And we are going to be attaching the ribbon to this part of the dress. We're going to be passing the ribbon from one side to another one, from the left to the right. Just like this. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, give us a like and share on your social media. And I hope the process was clear to you. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.